Hey guys, I wanted to create a quick tutorial on how to mod Supermarket Simulator. So the first thing you should do is save and quit out of your game if you have it running because you cannot add mods to the game while it is running. The next thing you wanna do is go ahead and create a new folder on your desktop for you to download your mods into to make it easier to find as we download them. I went ahead and did that and I called mine Supermarket Mods. The next thing you wanna do is open up Steam, locate Supermarket Simulator in your library, right click, hover over Manage, click on Browse Local Files, and as you can see, mine probably looks a lot different than yours, and that's because I already have mods installed. So what I'm going to do is delete and my ML Loader files. This is the folder that you are going to install all of your mods to. So we're gonna go ahead and minimize that. We don't wanna close it. The next thing we wanna do is open up our browser and head to nexusmods.com. Next up, we're going to click on the search bar and we're going to click on the drop down box and we're going to select games. We're going to type in supermarket simulator. And this is the game page for all of the mods. If you hover over the plus button, you can go ahead and add that to your favorites. And what that will do is create a drop down box for you where you can easily access the game that you want to mod. So if I go ahead and click on Supermarket Simulator, this brings me directly to the mods page. The first mod that you're going to want to have is called Beppin X. And as you can see, it's right here at the top. Toby's Beppin X Melon Loader Pack for Supermarket Simulator. We're going to go ahead and click on that. We're going to come down and go to Files. And you're going to want to download the most recent file. So we'll click on Manual Download. Now, in order to download any of these mods, you will have to create a free account on Nexus. So once you've done that, you can go ahead and click on Slow Download. And then you're going to save it to the folder that you created for all these mods to go into. Now I've already downloaded it, so I'm not gonna do this again. I'm gonna hit cancel, but you guys will hit save. Now, once you've done that, we're going to go back to our supermarket simulator folder. We're gonna slide that over. We're going to open up our supermarket mods folder. We're going to find Toby's Beppin X pack for supermarket simulator. We're going to double click on the zip folder we are going to highlight everything that's in here, hold and drag it into the supermarket simulator folder. Now it's going to ask to replace the files in the destination. This will probably only do this for me because I've already got these files in here. If it does for you, go ahead and click on yes. Okay, so now the next thing we have to do is run the game. And I'm going to show you why. If we were to double click on ML Loader, you'll see that there's only one file in here. Now, we have to run the game so that it will populate the rest of this subfolder with all of the information that we are going to need to install our mods. So we can go ahead and minimize out of these things. We're going to go to Steam. We're going to hit play on Supermarket Simulator. And as soon as we get to the splash page, we can go ahead and quit out. And if we go back to our melon loader, you will see it has now populated with user data, user libraries, plugins, and mods. And that's exactly what we need for all of our mods. We're going to go back to our browser and go back to Nexus Mods. And we're going to find a mod that we want to install into our game. Now, I really like Better Cashier, so I'm going to type in Better Cashier. I'm going to click on that. And down here, it will tell you where it has to go. Just move the DLL to Supermarket Simulator Beppin X Plugins folder. Okay, so now we go to Files. We go to Manual Download. And it's going to tell you that you have to make sure you have these files installed properly before using this one. Now we've already installed this, so we're good to go. So all we have to do is click on download. It's going to bring you to the download page. You're going to click on slow download and you're going to locate it in your supermarket mods folder. Now I've already got it here, so I'm going to double click on the zip file. 
And then on this end for Supermarket Simulator, we are going to go back up to the main section of the Supermarket Simulator folder. We're going to double click on Beppin X. We're going to go down to Plugins. We're going to take Better Cashier DLL, hold, drag, and drop it into the Plugins folder. Now that mod is installed in the game and you are good to go. You can load up your game and you will have faster cashiers. There is one other mod that I do want to cover because it's a little bit more complicated, and that one is the auto price updater. This one tells you that you have to download Melon Loader, you have to launch the base game, you have to exit the game and run Melon Loader Installer EXE. Now, we have already installed Melon Loader, but it's a totally different version than the one that they are listing here. And we do not have to download that one. We also don't have to run the base game again because we already did that. We also don't have to run the installer because we don't have that version. So all we need to do is go up to files. We're going to download the most recent file. We're going to go back to our mods folder that we created on our desktop. We're going to locate automatic price updater. And because we know it's a melon loader mod, we have to select our supermarket simulator folder. We're going to go back up. We're going to find and double click on ML loader. We're going to double click on mods. And then over here on automatic price updater, we're going to double click on mods. We're going to drag and drop that into the mod folder for supermarket simulator. We're going to go back up. And when we see user data, we're going to double click on that. And then back over into the automatic price updater mods folder, we're going to go back up. We're going to double click on user data. We're going to take price updater, drag and drop that into our ML loader user data folder. Now this is the config file for auto price updater. So if we double click on that, you will see that you can go ahead and make whatever adjustments that you want to make. And on the mod page in Nexus, if we go over to posts, he has a pinned comment where he explains what these changes do. So you can go ahead and read that and make whatever changes it is that you want to do. The one last thing I do want to say is if you see a mod that requires Melon Loader and it has all these extra steps, you don't have to take those extra steps. All you have to do is download the mod, drag and drop it into ML Loader Mods, and you're good to go. And the same thing goes for the Beppin X plugins. If it says Beppin X plugins, you're going to double click on Beppin X. You're going to double click on plugins and you're going to drag and drop your DLL file into Beppin X plugins. And that's it, guys. I really hope that this helped. If it did, please let me know in the comments below. And if you have any further questions, go ahead and comment those down below as well. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you all later.